This is the World Focus on TVC News. In Nigeria, environmental experts and activists have long been worried about the abandonment of the preliminary guidelines recommended by the United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, for the cleanup of Ogoni land. But now the main worry appears to be shifting to a crisis of repollution and artisanal refining or illegal refining. These are the two evils happening on a scale that could cause more damage than the very pollution that led to the cleanup in the first place. Cyril Abaku compiled this report. The story of the Ogoni is one that speaks to agony. Its population of about 3 million is spread across four local government areas and river state spanning a territory that sits above abundant mineral wealth. But its communities are plagued by one of the world's worst known environmental disasters. This administration is laying a foundation for change. Four years after the kickoff of the cleanup project by the federal government, more damage appears to be befalling Ogoni land by way of repollution artisanal refining and slow pace of the remediation in spite of available funds. This meeting is a high-level advocacy workshop organized by the African Center for Leadership, Strategy and Development, one among many seeking to put the issues in perspective and ensure stakeholders are on the right track to making Ogoni land clean again. I would think that there is need to further interrogate from that time till now, has anything changed? If anything has not changed, it means we have so much in our hands to do as well, which is why the need to convey this meeting has become imperative. I'm the senior special assistant to the president on Niger Delta affairs in the office of the vice president. The cleanup of Ogoni land has commenced. It is now in its second phase. I believe that it will be a huge success going by the successes recorded in the first phase. For us in the National Assembly, we are committed to providing laws for the good governance of Nigeria. It's more than four years down the line. Yet, the issues on the table have hardly changed. Although the United Nations Environmental Program did recommend that the health audits be carried out and water be provided before the start of remediation, nature's free gift has remained a luxury for locals because all known sources of water still carry alarmingly high levels of benzene, more than 900 times the level recommended by the WHO. It is sad enough, up to now, the issue of water is the, the major problem of the community. Because you understand that um, water is supposed to be one of the first important uh, uh, item that's supposed to be uh, looked at in the, in the issue of the, the UNEP reports. And um, again, it was part of also the emergency uh, measure. But up to now, the issue of the water has not been done. So it's, 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 it's a minus completely for, to the high prep. Although the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project has handed over seven clean sites to the federal government, experts say the quality of work must be scrutinized to ensure it is in line with the standards laid down by the United Nations Environmental Program. There is a police of the environment which is NOSRA, and we think that NOSRA should play its role by going to certify that the place has been actually clean and then advise HyPrep to do what is needful. While these issues linger, a long list of worries appears to be deepening the discontent between the people and the project itself. They include the absence of independent monitors to certify the quality of bowel remediation work on the sites by contractors lack of key performance indicators to aid project monitoring and tracking, the emergency measures remaining overlooked, lack of a blueprint for livelihood for the youth, as well as discrimination against women. A, a lot of community women have complained that when they mobilize contractors to sites, 
some chiefs and other community leaders were given the privilege to nominate people who will work at those sites. Women leaders were not consulted. They were not consulted about the selection. They were not even, the opportunities were not even created for women to play one role or the other at the site. Except, of course, where they say a site nurse or community nurse, something like that. Apart from that, women are completely excluded from that process. High Prep says it has started carrying out water quality assessment of all drinking water sources in the four local government areas of Ogoni land and that it will rehabilitate six existing water schemes to supply about 10,950,000 liters of water per day to the communities. These plans are coming four years after the project kicked off. For Nusdra, its success is itemized as having a reference lab for analyzing samples from Agoni land, certifying lot upon remediation, and supervising hazardous waste generated from the cleanup. Contractors are using different substrates for the cleanup. And what do I mean by that? Before you undertake a remediation project in anywhere in Nigeria, you have to take the solution to regulatory authorities. And the regulatory authorities are NOSDRA or DPR. Those two organizations, or either of them, will have to authorize the solution that you are going to introduce to the soil. Okay? Now, what contractors in Ogoniland are doing is that they take a different solution to Nostra and get the certification to undertake remediation. And then when it gets to actual implementation of the cleanup, or when it gets to actual cleaning of the soil, they will then use a different solution. And why is this dangerous? It is dangerous because any solution that they use that is alien to our environment will end up causing more problems to our soil than um, what we have with the contamination at the moment. Another problem that we have with um, using a solution that has not been approved by either DPR or NOSRA is that you might end up damaging our soil and land use will change. We might not be able to use our land for agriculture anymore. So it is very, very important for HYPREC and NOSDRA to monitor what contractors are doing on the lot. The prospect of completing the cleanup in record time is remote. But if there is the one thing the Agoni people yearn for, it is to see the day their land becomes clean again.